welcome to the Earth Tones Girl channel. My name is Denise and this is my Sock Shorties series. In today's class, we are going to learn how to do a one by one left and right leaning cable, also known as a left twist and a right twist, all without a cable needle. <laughs> it is a lot easier than you think and it is very time saving for you as the maker. Um, you can use cable needles when use it, when doing cables with multiple stitches. If you're doing um, a two by two, so that's four stitches or three by three, um, so six stitches, et cetera, et cetera. It is helpful to put those on a cable needle. It's easier to control them, to hold them in place. But if you're just doing a left or right twist or a one over one, so one over one or one over one cable, it is a lot quicker. There's little ways to knit into the stitches where that cable needle is not necessary at all. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways, two methods for each cable. So two methods for a left leaning or a left twist and two methods for a right leaning or a right twist. Um, there is a third, there's multiple methods, um, not just two, but uh, there is another way of doing it where you drop both stitches off the needle, but I, I don't want anyone, you know, any breathing problems, heart attacks, we're going to avoid all of that today. <laughs> so we're going to keep it nice and simple. And as I'm demonstrating this, I'm going to suggest which method may be better depending on what yarn you are using. Some yarns have more of a halo. If you're using a more natural fiber with a little less, less nylon, it may have mohair in it, any type of sock yarn like that. And the more halo or the more fiber you have on it, one method may work a little bit better for that yarn so that you're not catching all of those fibers and they're not getting in your way as opposed to another method. The same applies with um, a right leaning. It doesn't matter which one you're doing. So two methods for each and I can't wait to show them with you. Left and right leaning cables, one over one. Let's get started everybody. So here we are. This is a little preview of my upcoming pattern, One More Step. I am very excited and hoping that this will be released in the beginning of June, so stay tuned. But right now I'm going to show you the left and the right leaning cable. So here is what the left leaning cable looks like. As you can see, you have every fourth row, you're crossing the left stitch, over a right stitch, so a first stitch over a second stitch, and that repeats every fourth row. And then here we have a right leaning cable doing the same thing. Every fourth row you're crossing a second stitch over a first stitch to get it to lean to the right. Okay, and there we have it. So now let's see this. Now this yarn has a bit of a halo. This is the more natural fiber yarn, um, which is X More by uh, John Arbor. And this particular colorway is Aggie, A-G-G-Y. I will put all of this in the show notes down below for you. But let's see this. Now, in, the, in this particular yarn, I keep interrupting myself. In this particular yarn, because of the halo, the stitches are more subtle, which I absolutely love. But let's see it in the smoother yarn, and you'll see that the stitches pop just a little bit more. So here we have the same pattern in a smoother yarn. This is Steel Toes Base by Legacy Fiber Arts. This particular colorway is Fog. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to see the cables in this particular yarn because it has less of a halo. So this is the left leaning. Let's just spread this out a little bit. This is the left leaning cable. And I have my needle right in position to demonstrate the stitches for you. Here we go, look at how beautiful that is. And here is the right leaning. I'll spread that up a little bit. And there is the right leaning cable. Oh, just love it so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see how to do that. Let's start with the right leaning. Move this over. <clears throat> And as promised, I'm going to show you two, or as said, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. So we are going to go with what I think, this particular, doing the right leaning cable is a little bit easier than doing the left leaning, no matter what yarn you're using. So I'm going, I'm teaching you the two, and then you can decide as you are knitting your socks, which method works better for you. So 
this first one is going to look like a knit two together. So you're going to go in. So here I have, I've got my, I'm on the fourth row. I'm ready to start. I'm going to go into both stitches as if I'm doing a knit two together. I'm going to bring my yarn through both of those, but then separate it. As you see, I separated it with my finger and I'm going to go back into the first stitch and then pull them both off. And as you can see, I have now crossed my second stitch over my first. Look at that. Done! <laughs> so let's see that again. Doing my purl stitches here, and here we are again. So go into both stitches as you would for a knit two together. You're going to bring the yarn through both and then separate, and I'm just kind of moving it with my finger. Go back into that first stitch. Whoops, I split the yarn, so hang on a second. Go back into the first, tighten back up on that stitch, and pull through. And I have crossed again. Let's do it again. If you've been watching my tutorials for a while, you know I am never in a rush, and I'm happy to repeat things for you to see. Okay, let's do that one more time. I'm going into both stitches as is as you would for a knit two together. Separate with my finger. You can hold on to the stitch too with your finger if that helps for a little more control. Go in to the second stitch and pull through. And there you have four completed right leaning cables, one by one cable or a right twist. Now let's see the alternate the alternate method. So here we are with method two for a right leaning one by one cable or a right twist. So my stitches are back into position and I'm ready to go. With this one, with this method, you're going to knit in, go into the second stitch as if to knit. Pull the yarn through, then go into the first stitch, also as if to knit, and pull them off. Now, very, very subtle difference, but depending on the yarn that you're using, it may make a big difference. So let's see that a couple more times. I'm just pulling these two. Okay, we're going into the second stitch as if to knit, then keeping everything in place, go into the first stitch as if to knit and slide everything off. Okay, Let's see that again. And try to go even slower this time. Go in as if to knit. Okay, now it looks like I'm between the stitches, but I'm not. I'm really in that first stitch. Bring it through. There's the space. I'm just going to put my needle into the first stitch. And they are twisted perfectly. Let's do that one more time. I could do this all day, but <laughs> nobody has that kind of time. Okay, go in to the second stitch as if to knit. Pull it through. Then go into the first stitch as if to knit. And then slip both off of the needle. Now let's do these two purls and then I can open this up so you can see. And there you have it. Second stitch crossed over the first stitch. Stitches are leaning to the right. And there you have it. So here is the left leaning one by one cable or left twist and let's take a look at that one now this is method number one you are going to come between if you can see the space you're actually going to bring your needle between the two stitches go into the first stitch the second stitch i'm sorry as if to knit you're going to pull that carefully right through then go into the first stitch and slide them off. 
and you are now leaning left. Let's see that a few more times, nice and slow. Now I am looking at this through my camera, <laughs> so it's always a little bit tricky for me, but here we go. You're going to open those two stitches up, bring your needle from behind through the two stitches, okay? Then you're going to turn your needle and knit into the front of the second stitch, pull that through without splitting. It's not always the easiest to do. Let's do that again, because this is what could happen to you as well. Now really give yourself some room, pull through. Oh dear, this is not cooperating. <laughs> One more time. There we go, third time's a charm. There we go. And then go into the first stitch, slide them off. Let's do that two more times. And I'm always glad when a little flub or error or technical difficulty, like I, I'm glad that things like that happen while I'm doing this so that you can see how to fix it and what to do when you are doing it yourself. So again, between the two stitches, I'm really spreading that stitch, go into the second stitch, give myself some space, come through, there we go, being careful not to split your stitch, then go into the first. Okay, do it one more time. All right, come up from behind, between the two stitches. There we go, really spread them out. Give yourself a good amount of space. Come through, just like this, and then knit the first. And there, and let's finish these last two so I can spread this out and you can see. And there you go. That there are your left leaning cables. Now, let's see the second way of doing this, the second method. So let's see method number two for the one by one left leaning or left twist cable. So what you're going to do is actually turn your work so you can see the back side. You're going to slide your needle into the back loop of the second stitch. You're going to knit that and come through, then go into the first stitch. And voila, your stitches are crossed. <laughs> so let's purl two and see that a few more times. Now here's something really interesting. I find this method is a little bit easier, but when you are using a yarn with more of a halo, dipping in the back and trying to only catch the strand, just like this, and not the halo and the fibers can be tricky. I found it a little bit tricky, but that's why I've given you two different methods. There we go we have our left leaning cable. Let's see that two more times. Oops, be sure not to split your yarn. Okay, turn your work, go into the back loop of the second stitch on your needle, just like that, give it a little tug. You're not overstretching it, then go into the front loop of the first stitch and slide them both off. Perfect left leading cables. One more time, let's see it once more. Okay, turn your work, dip behind, back loop of the second stitch, come through, go into the first, oops, grab that yarn, I've split my stitch, so let's try to catch all those strands. There we go. To the first. And there you have it. 
a left leaning one by one cable or a left twist. And there it is. Perfectly done. <laughs> And there you have it. There is something about these little baby cables, as I like to call them, that is so addicting and so much fun. I find myself racing through the plain rows just to get to the, to the cabling row. There doesn't require too much attention. Um, it's easy to count where you are in your stitches or in the cable repeat, and they are so much fun to do. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you take some of these techniques and apply them to your socks or other projects. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you all again very soon. Thanks everyone.